as promised to those who watched and heard the Amharic version of what I'm going to do right now in English. This is my own English translation of my maternal grandfather's letter written some 30 years ago as of this forthcoming November to then president, later prime minister, Malles Zenawi of then the transitional government and later the full government of the federal democracy of Ethiopia ran by Weyani or by TPLF. This was published by a group called the Voice of the Patriots, the Arben Dems. I believe that was the second round. Someone could fact check me on that. Anyway, without further ado, here's their brief little introduction, followed by his letter. As the transitional government led by Weyani was partitioning the regions of Ethiopia amongst the Ethiopians who revealed their opposition was Mr. Daniel Waldeslazi. Here we have presented the letter of opposition by Mr. Daniel alongside Mr. Fitaye Asagu, the voice of the patriots, the Honorable Mr. Daniel Waldeslazi. Hadar 11th, 1984, in the Year of Mercy, or November 20th, 1991, in the Year of Our Lord. To the Honorable Mr. Mellis Zenawi, President of Ethiopia's Transitional Government, Addis Ababa. Honorable President, beginning before the founding of Aksum, the people of Tigray and Gwender, in seed, or race, in language, in culture, in marriage, in name, in religion, in the feeling of love of country, or patriotism, in geography, in economics, writ large in history, in way of living, tied in culture, publicly drinking from the water of the Tekaze River, without demolishing the border, inheriting their archaic ancestral history, and heritage with respect and support of one another in way of life, having made Ethiopia wealthy with many thousands of years of history, accords aside, they are one people that traceably came out of one great-grandparent. In fact, the people of Gwender and Tigray should have been seen as and counted as one nation of people, rather than two. It has never been their culture to embarrass and look down upon one another. Rather, when one is comfortable and satisfied, they encourage and support the other. Because of looking down upon and haughtily ruling over others, the government of Mangistu Hailamaram, which had massive armies, has been seen to easily and falteringly fall. Tigray and Gwender in these past 17 years, have been in an era of darkness in a person's life, sacrifice and the side of economic ruin, non-stop and elevated public damage has come to them. In getting up and struggling together, freeing Ethiopia from harsh rule, they were able to get her to the present political freedom slash democracy and a glimmering gate of economic hope. Whilst this is these people's history and unity's true face, recently a 15-day journal's released publication called Africa Confidential, saying they got it from the transitional government of Ethiopia, illustrated a map of the nations of people of Ethiopia according to administrative region. Since we have seen plans for the lush places that are Gwanderin histories and heritages, first spouse, meaning Satit, Humara, Walkait, Tagadi, Talamt, to be separated from their created or natural and historic body of Gwander, breaching Takaze's border, making them subject to Tigray's administrative body, making these places fertilizer for Tigray's development, and making the people there second-class citizens of Tigray, we are exceedingly and very dumbfounded by and sorrowful over the walking stick we have been struck by. Additionally, looking at where Teodros was born and where his skeleton rests, 
the association of the Trinity Parish, Matamma, where Johannes was sacrificed, all of the lowland country, their seed or race and name never having been known or heard of in the vicinity, what they are calling Bene Shangul, the map shows that it has been planned to be given to an ethnicity that does not live there. This plan pushes against the lawful rights that have endured till the present of the people from Omedla till Matamma's lowland grounds, who from the beginning of the world moved their cattle to and fro to graze, the highlanders of Quara, Alafa, Takus, Tankal, Chilga, Chako, and the hunter's country. Just a few days ago, the Ethiopian voice radio said the transitional government's house of council has declared righteous or decided upon Ethiopia's administration into 14 partitions. We have hope that this news passed along to us has not coagulated with the map printed by Africa Confidential. If it is the case, however, the schematic is being presented by the Law of the Government Righteousness Declaration Conference or Decision-Making Conference, other than saying these brethren, the peoples of Tigray and Gwender, beginning now are being invited to line up and wipe each other out, no other reason or interpretation is available. Additionally, since there is no one chosen by the people of Gwender within the transitional government's house of council, we have now tried to help you understand the wound, and we have not found anyone who had the history on their forehead and understood. In fact, we trust that the lawful house of council chosen by the people will not touch our rights and history preserved since before the beginning of the world. If there is an attempt to forcefully implement this plan, the coming forceful safeguarding amidst these brotherly people, the coming loss will not be easy and many generations will not be able to destroy it. This victory gained by heavy sacrifice and the glimmer of hope by this reason, so that we do not lose it and it does not fall, we fear what will befall us is what is written in the Holy Bible. A house divided against itself shall not endure. We are made to ponder so that it does not happen that 17 years of torment was not enough, preparing these brotherly people for internal collision, so that the sackcloth of embarrassment and a curse upon future generations does not happen. Rather, the procession of the historic struggle of the people of Tigray, Gwander, and Wallo, worthy of being written in golden ink. Looking at the vicinity's development, for example, were we to address Satit Humara, when its development and movement was at an elevated level, after those born of Walkait and Tagari, our brethren of Tigray and Ertra made use of it at an elevated level. By this happenstance, the people of Gwender would be happy and encouraged, rather than have any kind of grievance or murmuring. This is a living memory that shines bright in our inner hearts till now. This reflects, in the eyes of the people of Gwender, the people of Tigray and Ertra, unbridled by their borders, tied together as one household, in evil and good times, saying to each other, you be better off, you be better off having a perpetual nature of living together, are one people that came out of the same place. The release and promulgation of this map schematic has become very happy talk for the countrymen who hate our unity. Therefore, this sorrow-inducing plan, if not corrected swiftly, the talk, beginning now, amidst these brotherly peoples, will invite diametric opposition and loss that will not be easily corrected within a few generations, fearing that the preached torchlight of democracy will be darkened before the world. This looming sword of smiting on this occasion is seated upon your honor as a responsibility to sever. On our side, we have presented a thought founded in upright thinking, rising up and pushing forward with humility to fulfill our mandate as those born of Gwender. With an honorable salutation and well wishes, Daño Walda Salasi and Fita Aye Asaku.